right, tonight before we do our deep dive into Mueller's band of Trump hating, Hillary Clinton loving lackeys, we do have major breaking news from the Hills John Solomon. Now, according to his new report tonight, a whistleblower told Congressman Ron DeSantis that during an FBI video conference about former National Security Advisor Michael Flynn, well, a senior FBI official made an inappropriate comment about Flynn, which made it seem like there was a personal motive to investigate him. We'll have more on that story in a few minutes. But first, the special counsel of Robert Mueller's entire investigation, we now know tonight, is one giant cesspool. It's full of corruption, partisanship, and unbridled bias. It is the epitome of the Washington, D.C. sewer and swamp. And Mueller's stooges literally are doing everything within their power and then some to try and remove President Trump from office. And tonight, we have new information about one of Robert Mueller's top attack dogs who has very deep ties to Barack Obama, Hillary Clinton, and the Democratic Party. Her name, we reveal, is Jeannie Ray. Now, there's a ton of information. Pay very close attention. Records show she is a huge Democrat. And since 2008, Ray has donated nearly $10,000 to Democrats. Now, that includes contributions to Hillary Clinton in 2015, 2016. She also dished out thousands of dollars to Barack Obama in 08 and 2011. Now, it's not surprising because Ray is a registered Democrat in Washington, D.C. Does that sound like a fair, impartial investigator? For all of you watching at home, I don't think so. And it only gets worse from there. From 2009 to 2011, Ray worked directly with former Obama Attorney General Eric Holder. Yeah, the same Eric Holder that proudly declared that he is part of the Donald Trump resistance. And Ray served as a deputy assistant attorney general in the Office of Legal Counsel at the DOJ, where she advised Holder, the Obama White House, and other top Justice Department officials on all sorts of legal matters. And take a look at this government document. Ray is listed as the attorney for former Obama Deputy National Security Advisor Ben Rhodes when he was being interviewed about the Benghazi terror attack. So clearly, Ray has deep ties to top Obama administration officials. Look at this press release from her old law firm, Wilmer Hale. That's the same law firm Robert Mueller worked at. By the way, they mostly only donate to Democrats. It describes Ray as, quote, having served as a legislative fellow in the office of former Senator Tom Daschle and as a counsel in the U.S. Department of Justice's Office of Legal Policy. If you don't recall, Daschle was the Senate Majority Leader for the Democrats in the early 2000s. Guess what? There's more. Jeannie Ray also has done legal work for the Clinton Foundation. In 20, you can't make this up. In 2015, while at Wilmer Hale, Ray defended the Clinton Foundation against a racketeering lawsuit. And Ray's name appears at the bottom of the plea agreement. Remember George Papadopoulos, the Trump foreign policy advisor that nobody ever heard of? Well, Ray's background and resume, what does it prove? She is a total and complete partisan hack. Mueller had no business, like in a lot of the other people he selected, selecting her to be a part of his team, but he did it anyway, which should tell you all you need to know about the type of operation Robert Mueller is running. Next is one of Robert Mueller's top investigators, who is known as the special counsel's pit bull and has a history of all kinds of unethical, highly questionable, strong arm prosecutorial tactics. And of course, I'm talking about Andrew Weissman. Now, before we get into his past, well, we had breaking news last night that highlights Weissman's political bias in an email re released by Judicial Watch yesterday. Weissman told former acting attorney general Sally Yates how proud he was of her. This after Yates denied a direct order from President Trump and refused to defend what we now know as constitutional, knew then the travel ban back in January. Here's the actual email. I am so proud. I am in awe. Thank you so much. All my deepest respects. Well, now that you know about Weissman, well, let's dive into his past. Our friend, colleague, Fox News legal analyst, Greg Jarrett, he's been going over this guy's record with a fine tooth comb. Guess what? Weissman is a legal nightmare. Now, we have to know Weissman has deep and close ties to both Mueller and the disgraced former FBI director, James Comey. He's worked closely with both of them for years, and he has donated over $4,000 to Democrats like Barack Obama. So there's no way he'd have any political bias, I'm sure, right? 
Well, this is the part that's still deeply disturbing. When Weissman was the top prosecutor, remember the Enron Task Force? Well, he secured a highly controversial obstruction of justice case against American accounting giant Arthur Anderson. It destroyed that company. It put tens of thousands of people out of work. It drove that company out of business. And in 2005, the U.S. Supreme Court overturned Weissman's conviction in an almost unprecedented 9-0 unanimous ruling. They excoriated him for his behavior. And that's not the only example of Weissman's hard-charging, overly aggressive tactics. As part of the Enron investigation, Weissman sent four Merrill Lynch executives to jail for as long as a year. Guess what? They were innocent. That conviction was also later overturned, this time by the 5th U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals. Here's the bottom line. Weissman, guess what? He's a legal tyrant. He has been accused of doing just about anything to secure a conviction. Does he not care about equal justice under the law? He's been accused of intimidating witnesses, making up crimes that do not even exist, and even withholding evidence that would have been exculpatory and helped the defense in one case. And Weissman is also directly tied to that corrupt Uranium One deal and Obama administration's attempt to hide it from you, the American people. Weissman, guess what? He was in tar charge of the DOJ's fraud section during the Russian bribery scheme. And Greg Jarrett pointed out that Weissman's signature, look there, it's at the bottom of the plea deal that was signed by the Russian businessman at the center of that case. Now, also tonight, breaking information about the Trump-hating, Hillary-loving FBI agent Peter Strzok. He's the guy that was fired from Mueller's team for political bias towards President Trump, another one of the dream team of Robert Mueller. Now, the DOJ is reviewing 10,000 text messages that Strzok sent to his FBI official girlfriend, Lisa Page. She also worked for Mueller. And what for? To determine which specific messages that where Strzok was attacking President Trump. They need to be turned over to the House Intelligence Committee. So at this hour, it's unclear how many of the 10,000 messages have to do with President Trump or Mueller's investigation. It should be an interesting read. Now, the DOJ says this could take weeks or even months. Can we move a little faster? It's not that hard. We're also learning tonight that Strzok's dirty and biased fingerprints, guess what? They're all over the fake news, anti-Trump, Russian propaganda dossier bought and paid for by Hillary and the DNC that she was running. And according to a report, Strzok and his team, they were tasked with handling the dossier when it was given to the FBI. And according to other reports, information that that fake news dossier was used to get a FISA warrant to surveil the Trump campaign advisor Carter Page. Stop and think about this. Hillary Clinton bought and paid for Russian propaganda to influence an election. Sound familiar? And they might have used it to get a warrant to investigate an opposition party, a campaign, a, a president-elect? This is insanity. Strzok is as biased as they come. And here are more reasons why. According to a report, it was Strzok who signed the document that officially started the Russian collusion witch hunt. Now, the Trump-hating FBI agent also oversaw the FBI interviews. Get this, a former national security advisor, Lieutenant General Michael Flynn. And as we told you about last night, Strzok's mistress, Lisa Page, served on Robert Mueller's dream team before leaving. Now, here's where it gets really disturbing. As her own Catherine Herridge is reporting, well, Strzok played a pivotal role also in the Clinton email server investigation. You know, the one where they actually had an exoneration letter before the investigation. And he even took part in the 2016 interview of Hillary Clinton herself. By the way, she was never put under oath. And we're also learning that Strzok participated in the FBI interviews of key Clinton aides and allies, Uma Abedin, Cheryl Mills. And we showed you last night how lies were told by both of them. And here's the most egregious example of Strzok's rampant political bias. He's responsible for changing that crucial language in James Comey's statement that exonerated Hillary before they investigated. He's the one that revised grossly negligent to extremely careless, which gave them an excuse to let Hillary walk. Now, all of this is shocking. It's incomprehensible. It's a smoking gun proof that Mueller's probe is a total political sham. It's a witch hunt. It needs to be shut down immediately if we believe in the rule of law and our Constitution. But guess what? The deputy attorney general, Rod Rosenstein, who appointed Mueller as the special counsel, he's saying tonight he's satisfied with this investigation. Mr. Rosenstein, are you serious? 
You need to wake the hell up, get your head out of the stand, and take a look at what is actually going on. This is about law and order and legal justice under the law. Apparently, Rosenstein is the only person apparently in America that doesn't seem to realize, I guess unless you work at fake news CNN or conspiracy TV MSNBC, you seem to be the only one that doesn't realize there are very serious flaws with Mueller's investigation. This is exactly why we have been saying it's time for Rosenstein to pack his boxes, leave the Department of Justice, because this is an injustice. Now, Mueller's investigation is troubling. Democrats are using it to attack a duly elected president, the one you elected. And here's an example. Earlier today, you have 58 geniuses in the House of, of Representatives, all Democrats, supporting a resolution to impeach President Trump. For what? The bias, the politics swirling around Mueller's in investigation is beyond alarming at this point. It's been a year of this, but it's still part of a much larger attack, and it's all aimed at the president of the United States. And, of course, it's being orchestrated by deep state operatives and Obama holdovers. Now, we have seen example after example of former Obama administration officials going after, attempting to discredit the president every day, day in, day out. Look at James Clapper, the former director of national intelligence, now works at fake news CNN. He's repeatedly attacked President Trump. Here's one small example. Are you questioning his fitness? Yes, I do. I, I, I really question uh, his uh, ability to, uh, his fitness to be in this office. And I also uh, am beginning to wonder uh, about uh, his, his motivation for it. Maybe, maybe he is looking for a way out. How much longer does the country have to, uh, to borrow a phrase, endure this nightmare? Pretty disgraceful. And former Obama CIA director John Brennan, more deep state. Well, he's made this shocking admission when testifying before Congress. Watch him. I wanted to make sure that every information and bit of intelligence that we had was shared with the Bureau so that they could take it. It was well beyond my mandate as director of CIA to follow on uh, any of those leads uh, that involved U.S. persons. But I made sure that anything that was involving U.S. persons, including anything involving the uh, individuals involved in the Trump campaign, was shared with the Bureau. So what Brennan did was do everything within his power to make sure that the FBI and the deep state were going after Trump and his campaign. Now, after hearing statements like that, should we really be at all surprised that at the beginning of the Trump administration, remember, we had 125 deep state leaks in 126 days? Imagine this. When has it ever happened that a conversation with a sitting president and a prime minister or a president of another country was ever leaked? I can't think of a time. And we can't forget that right before he left office, President Obama, remember we talked about this? He signed Executive Order 1233, which made it easier to share intelligence so everybody across the government agencies had access. Why did he do it? Why didn't he do it during his term? Now, there's also widespread unmasking of American citizens, including Trump associates. And at one point, during the end of the Obama administration, former U.N. ambassador, remember Samantha Power? Why would she be unmasking people caught up, incidentally, in surveillance at the rate of one American a day? And then we have Ben Rhodes, former Obama deputy national security advisor. Remember, talking about the attorney, Ray? Oh, remember him? He was a person of interest in the unmasking scandal. So it appears what the Obama administration was, in fact, deliberate by unleashing this deep state power to strike against the incoming president before he even took office. And take a look at how former Ambassador John Bolton tonight is describing this mess that is going on in this country tonight. Now, as the Wall Street Financial Journal said, this, this is the first attempted coup d'etat in American yeah, history. I mean, it's stupid. a mini coup d'etat, but it, it's, uh, it goes right along with the idea that and they should have the won the election. And transfer of power is uh, not minor. You have to listen. This is not a game. What is happening in this country is dangerous, and it needs to be stopped before the deep state can overthrow the president that you, the American people, voted for, a duly elected president. We'll have more on that in a minute.